at what depth was that one mined? Yeah, 1100 feet. Okay, and how thick was the coal seam? That the that coal was four foot six. Right, was it in the middle of the coal seam, the top, or? It came in, when you drive a coal face, you have a main gate, the coal face and the tower gate. And this came in on the right hand side of the main gate. This is my second favorite, which I really do enjoy. As you can see, the pure fossil. Fantastic. So that's just an ordinary fern leaf there, and you've got all sorts of piece of wood there. Yeah, a fossil there. In communities there. Yeah, yeah. Now that was in the same area. All these were in the same area. Yeah. It's the same seam of coal. It may have been a hundred yards apart. Yep. But it's the same seam of coal. Again, I've got another one here. Of two bits of tree bark, but they've split. Sadly, they've split. Yep. Piece of, piece of wood there. Yeah. Now how often would you run into fossils like this? And Very rare, because if we did hit a fossil seam, the word went up the coal face quicker than anything, and everyone would come down with their pickaxe and sort of chip away at it, trying to get them off in, in complete form. Pieces here. Mm-hmm. They're just pieces of... The pieces of wood. Yeah. Timber. Yeah. Pieces of timber. Timber through. or... Through. Yep. Again, another, another piece of tree trunk. Yep. Fantastic. There. Nice and, nice and heavy. Again, another piece. Yeah. Now, make of this of what you will. I brought this out. Whoa. And look at all the the fossils in there. Yeah, you've got little bits and pieces there. I mean, you've got to study some of this up close to just sort of try and appreciate the, the grain that's in there, the bits of wood. I mean, you can see the, the grains here. Yeah. Here, here. Yeah. And I picked this up and I thought, to me, it was interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Very interesting. Absolutely. And I've had this now 79, 79, 20, 32 years. Yeah. I've kept these. <laughs> and all this one <laughs> sits in my drawer under the bed. Yeah. And all these sit on my windowsill. <laughs> Anybody had a look at these apart from yourself and people in the mines? Is no. that it? I do lectures on coal mining in I, I do it in the life in the day of the miner. And I do it in two sections. I do it in section one is when I worked on the coal face in section two when I was a deputy in charge of the coal face. And this is the one I take with me all the while. Because I think that's the best I've got. You, ca you can't phase away from that. Now how long was that? Was there other pieces to it when you found that? Or? There was, but uh, it's, it's a question. Get what you can get before somebody else yep. gets it. <laughs> that's what it was a question of. So slip it in the pocket quick, eh? Yeah. <laughs> right. We, we were told initially, if we found any fossils down the pit, we weren't allowed to take them out. I don't know why, I don't know what the reason is, because they're history, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I mean, these are beautiful, I think. Yeah. These. And the, any, anything that shows, well, something like the fern there, that shows one. it had to be buried quickly. Yeah. Right? That is, that is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Because a fern leaf would um, deteriorate, you know, like it has to be within a few days, or green still alive to be buried, to yeah. be preserved like that. That sort of shows. And uh, that's why I love it. And the depth of it amazes me, 1100 feet. Yeah. Right. Now, how far did the coal seam sort of that you mine, you went down to 1300 feet for some of the coal seams? It, the coal seams were all on different levels. So in the shaft, we'd have three, three levels to get off at. So um, we'd have the, the new mine, the top coal and the double coal. New mine was four foot six thick, top coal was six foot one, and the double coal was six foot three and we cut the coal accordingly. So if you're on the new mine, you'd be on your hands and knees all day. We did mine a seam prior to me working there called the Marcus seam, and that was 28 inches thick. So you'd be, you'd be on your back all day, totally all day. And, and you only went for the coal itself, you didn't, because there's, there's other layers above and below that, isn't there? Purely the coal. Yeah. Purely the coal. And, and what we would do is we'd drive the road in where the ventilation came in, called the main gate, the coal face was just approximately 250 metres long and the tower gate where the ventilation went out. 
So the tailgate would be where you get all your gas problems, uh, carbon monoxide, CH4. Yeah. That's where you get all your problems with the gas. So in most of the tailgates, we'd have a, a methane boring rig, and they'd drill an angle of 60 degrees off the strata, and they would put the hole on suction, and they would be sucking the, the gas out of the strata. Yeah. And in one case, when we drove into a new area, we drilled a borehole and we drew 100% pure methane for three years. And we actually used a pit next door that was redundant. And we drove into it to link the two pits together. So the Granville colliery was two downcast shafts and the Grange colliery was two upcast shafts. And we put a methane drainage plant in there where we sucked the gas out of the pit, up the Grange plant, through a methane plant, down the old railway line, we sold it to the local gas works. That was pretty enterprising. Yeah, it was, it was rumoured, and I'm not sure, but it was rumoured at the end of the pit, we were making more profit from the gas than we were from the coal. <laughs> and I, I, I can actually believe it. But now, uh, now, you were down the mines for how long? From what years to what years? I went in the pits in 1968, and I worked there until 1995. In 72, I was on strike, because I was in UM. 74 I was on strike, again NUM, and in 84, the big strike, I had to work because I was a member of what we call NACARDS, which is the National Association of Colliery Overman, Deputies and Shop Farmers. So I had to go to work, and the first day the trouble hit us, I got stopped on the A5 by the police, and sort of, where are you going, going to work, why, I'm, a, I'm an official at the pit. And best to look like, so we didn't understand what it meant. And I was driving a bright Ford Capri, yellow, da yellow date owner, and uh, we got to the pit and there's 350 approximately South Wales pickets outside the gates. And as we drove by, shh, all along your car. So when the union people saw who we were, you know, it was leaving, leaving lads, they're part, of, they're part of the staff. And then they just parted and let us through. So after about three days of this, they recognised the cars, they just used to part and let us through. And this went on, we didn't wind any coal at Littleton Colliery for four to five months, because no miners would come back to work. Then eventually they started to drift back to work. But I know an instance now of two brothers who have never spoken to each other since 1984, because one brother came back and the other one stayed on a strike. Very sad. Mm. Absolutely. In now, um, how often would you be likely to hit something with fossils in it? Once a month? Or? No, it's potluck. I mean, I, I hit all of these probably within a period of two to three months. And then you could go 12 months without seeing anything at all. Because we, we would just blast and most of our concentration would be on getting our jobs done. So you weren't sort of focused on looking for fossils. It's just that when you were setting your steel, because the roadways consisted of three pieces of steel. The bow is the roof, then your two legs, and they're six, six by five steel. So when you're setting your steel and you're putting your bolts on, if you spot one, that's when you stop and think of fossil bed. But other than that, you don't think about it, you just carry on with your work. Mm. And you've got to see something substantial like, yeah, you know. Yeah, something substantial to, to keep your eye on it. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, if you went down to the beds today, the, down the mines, would you find um, anything in the other strata? Because I've seen pictures in people going through and they're actually seeing bits of wood and stuff in the strata above them. We used to have on the coal face what we call fool's gold. If you shone, shone your light up the coal face, you get sparkles of what you think was gold. We called it fool's gold. It was like a, an element within the coal scene that looked, looked like gold. Mm. Now, there was a big tree fossil. Yes. Yeah. Could you tell us a story that about a that? Little, little, little Colliery in Cannock. We drove just out from the pit bottom. And what we do is every 20 metres we put a, a, a manhole. We call a manhole to a refugee hole. So if the train's coming in, past you, you can step into this hole and the train will just pass you. So it's called a manhole. And in this manhole they hit this tree trunk and it's approximately two to three foot wide. We hit this tree trunk and it just it stayed there for years and years and years of the life of the pit. And eventually in 1994, when they announced the closure of the pit, the manager said, and he employed a team of men to get this out. And he got it out and it uh, came up the pit in a mine car, probably weighing two to three tonne. 
and it was took to the local college, presented to the local college, because the college at Cannock was the coal mining college. And it was presented to them, and it was, as I'm aware, it's still there now in their entrance. I've not been to see it, I, I would like to go to see it. Now how tall would that one stand, six foot, or Ooh. bigger than that? No, the, the height of the manhole would be six foot. And from what I could see of the tree trunk, it was the full length of the manhole. So whether they chopped it off at the bottom and the top and just took out what they could see. But it was all done very delicately, we couldn't blast it out, it all had to be done by hand. Because mm. if we'd have blasted it, we'd have just... Ended up in pieces. Incinerated it and just ended yeah. up in pieces. Yeah.